what I'm teaching this semester besides nutrition is a gen ed arts course that's three credits called Nursing 357 Healing in the Arts. We had an RN, a registered nurse, in our class taking it as an elective and she met Susie on the hospital ward and saw the dogs and she knew that I had done my dissertation research on how pets affect health and she thought it would be a great topic for our class. So we had our first visit with Susie and the dogs. My name is Susie Wong, and I'm a mother of three children. I have a house, a husband, and a load of Great Pyrenees dogs, along with two cats. Great Pyrenees were bred to guard sheep from bears, wolves, and coyotes. I breed, show, and train my dogs. They're all champions, and they have a CGC, which is a Canine Good Citizen Award, and a therapy dog title with TDI International. Oh, Ryan! <laughs> Come here. Say, <laughs> We go into all kinds of facilities and volunteer um, in schools with autistic children and young adults. And I've passed it on to my three children. They have pet therapy dog TDI licenses along with everything. And I think it teaches the children empathy. And if you train them the right way, any dog can be trained. It's the person who you have to train to train the dog. My little cousin is actually autistic and he has a huge, huge fascination with like cats or animals. They connect so well mostly because an animal such as a dog will never judge them. It's one of the things that special children really, really key into. So I've seen so many dogs just light up, light up people's lives. So I cannot wait to do it. I really can. It's so rewarding. He may end up sleeping in your lap. <laughs> he does. I'm warning you. He snores. <laughs> and I look. I promise. See what he's doing? You're going to be in big trouble in two minutes. <laughs> I know what that little man does. <laughs>